Hi, uh, I'm Glitch and I'm going to be talking about how much I hate the How I Met Your Mother ending and why. This is all my opinion, if you love the ending, go ahead, love it, I don't care. This is my first time ever doing a video like this, so some things might not be great, just ignore it. So this video is going to be split up into three parts. Uh, one about Barney and Robin, two Ted and Robin, and three Tracy and Ted. I have less to say about Tracy and Ted, but I decided to give it its own section anyway. I wrote the script a little while ago, so just bear with me. I'm actually going to start with Tracy and Ted, since that is the one thing that I did actually really like about this ending. So, Tracy and Ted. They did a great job with Tracy as a character. She was the mother that we were waiting for for nine seasons, and they did not disappoint. Her and Ted were obviously made for each other and it didn't seem forced at all, which I was slightly worried about since I knew they wouldn't have much time to progress the relationship. But it worked, so there we go. I am honestly not really against Tracy dying. I, I did really love her, but it was a great plot twist knowing she was dead this entire time. But at the same time, I do kind of feel that it could have just been an excuse to get Robin and Ted together at the end. So, Barney and Robin. We got divorced. Barney and Robin breaking up was totally out of the blue and uncalled for. They really loved each other and they get abruptly broken up in the second last episode after seasons of build up. Now, if you didn't get them together at all in the last season or just had broken them up earlier, then I wouldn't have been as mad. It made absolutely no sense that you broke them up. There wasn't any build up. Sure, there was that moment before the wedding where Robin gets really scared and wants to run off. But the truth is, I don't love you like that anymore. And you don't love me. You love Barney. Now, you could use the argument that the scenes where they were both starting to have second thoughts about the wedding were close to them breaking up later on if you hadn't have made them have a scene where they got it all sorted out and they talked and remembered how much they loved each other. The creators of the show said that they knew that they were going to have Ted and Robin together by the end for years before it was out. So if you knew, then how did you do such a terrible job at leading up to it? It felt like you just broke Barney and Robin up because you realised that you wanted Ted and Robin together in the last five seconds. You could stop watching the show two episodes early and you would never guess that Barney and Robin were going to get divorced. Now I know you could be like, oh but it's in the future and like, these things happen sometimes. Yeah, but you made us love the couple so much and then you just randomly broke them up. Honestly, do a better job at that. This is Rachel not getting off the plane, I swear. Barney was also, on his own, really disappointing at the end because he was great all throughout the show. I remember being so impressed at the way he was written and how his character development was done really well. He was the one who fell head over heels for a girl and got married after saying multiple times how much he thought marriage and love was a whole stupid idea earlier on. Just the way that they gradually made him go from this horrible person to this person who was able to settle down with the person that he loved, that was character development. And then to have it all thrown away in the last five minutes, that was definitely one of the most disappointing things about this ending. Barney did everything to be with Robin. He burned the playbook, he went against his hatred for marriage, he left his old life behind. In order for Barney to get married, he had to admit that he was wrong about his whole idea on marriage. Barney does not like to admit that he is wrong. I'm very passionate about that subject. So now we're going on to Ted and Robin. I honestly hate Ted and Robin together so much. I got sick of Ted and Robin's romance about halfway through the series. Every time they hinted about getting back together or start to gain feelings again, I did not want to hear about it. Now, other people will have other opinions on the romance, but this is mine. Every time they got back together, it was so exhausting because they never worked out every single time. Now, I know that's how sitcom romances work. I know that's how Ross and Rachel worked, but this is just a badly done Ross and Rachel. And I know some people who think Ross and Rachel is badly done, so that's there. They always got back together after a ton of build up, but they would never work out together in the end because they just weren't made for each other and they should have known that. As the show got near its end, Robin and Ted grew further apart because they had someone that they loved. Robin made it clear that she wasn't in love with Ted and then she suddenly was in the last few episodes. 
they even had a whole section where they figure out that when Robin thought that she was in love with Ted, she actually wasn't. She was just scared of making a commitment to Barney. I was so hoping that Barney and Robin getting married was going to be the moment where Ted finally moved on from the girl that he never truly let go of. The only thing leading up to Robin's feelings was when she saw Ted at the Halloween party and mentions how she should have ended up with him. But that was more jealousy because she sees someone in a happy relationship and apart from that, there isn't any lead up. Side note, I hate Robin's hair in the last scene. Like, it's so obvious it's a wig. I know it's supposed to make her look older, but come on. A uh, final thing, I really, really wish that the final line of the show was And that, kids, is how I met your mother. I'm so angry that it's not. That's really all I have to say, but you can have a different opinion. I don't care. I just really didn't like this ending. If you haven't watched the show and for some reason you're watching this, sorry for spoiling the whole thing, but I really recommend the show. It is an amazing show on its own if you just forget about the last two episodes. It is definitely one of my favourite sitcoms, maybe at the same tier as Friends or maybe even higher. Except Friends had a better ending. Anyway, yep, that's it. I really enjoyed making this video. Thanks.